Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Central and Northern and it's again going to be played at New Plymouth and again you can expect a lot of runs as far as the venue is concerned and it was a cracking game. The last one Shipley came and gave us came and gave us a last minute heist of a wicket there to manage to salvage the rest of the small league that we weren't winning. So like I said, the coin will also fall in our favor when it has to. And hopefully, this is the start of that. So, first up, let's look at what we have with venue conditions. So, Nikhil, why are you seeing another uh, 180 odd game? Yeah, Bilkul. I think it should happen. I yeah. also think things might start to slow down a bit. It usually yeah. happens in Super Smash when you see. Once the matches are repetitively played, they tend to start to slow down. It may not always be very obvious. So, every time, one of them will be 140 to 140, but it will change slowly. So, in the beginning of the match, the pitch conditions are there. Keep them in mind. Then, if we make runs, we should have made runs. But I think that because you don't know the batting, you don't have so much more reliable. So, the bowlers will be in the game. They will be able to play. But if you take two wickets, then there is no problem. Yes, absolutely. And we saw today that uh, they tried to target the spinners a lot to the leg side boundary. And uh, while Astell was constantly pitching it short, so it didn't work for him. But Coburn was actually very economical because of the same reason. So, yes, yeah. it works either way. If you're on your mark, then it can actually work to your favor too. Yeah. So, based on that, let's think of how we can form the best team. So now we are over to the base team and we have gone with both the form keepers, Dane Cleaver and Tim Seifert. I don't think you'll think too much on either of those because both are in good touch. And in the batting, we have gone with Tom Bruce and Caitlin Clark. Both of them will be important again. As far as uh, Tom Bruce is concerned, he's bowled four overs in his last two games. So that gives you an extra cog there in terms of a GL captaincy, vice captaincy option. In fact, many will opt with that in small leagues too. And uh, your second batter, Caitlin Clark. Now, this this I think you should keep flexible because he's someone who again plays shorter ball, and I don't think that will be easy, especially in front of the central bowlers. If they bring bring on Lennox up front, then that is going to be a challenge. So, if you want to be flexible there, you can try Ravel. Ravel also has not looked in the best touch, but he's someone who will take a lower risk a lower risk option. So, if he's batting first, then that's probably a switch you can make. Any other thoughts, Nikhilba, in terms of you wanting to take someone like Ben Smith or Joe Carter? No, actually, Rahul is one of my grand picks, so we'll discuss <laughs> more about him in that section. But otherwise, just you have to take options, you have to take your options. If you look at the two scores of Clark, then you will get 13 or 19. So, it doesn't give you enough confidence, but that has been the case for everyone. See, for the 0 or 36 mark, Rahul had 5 and 18. So, uh, you pick kare, again, very outside, but Brent Hampton also could be a handy choice for you to back. He will say that you have over, add 20 25 runs, you have to pick one wicket. So, hmm. you have to go by what you think. Uh, to, as I keep saying, always back your visualization. And I guess then that way it will be easier for you to imagine the scenario that is playing in your head. Yes, absolutely. And in the bowling, in the all-rounders, we have gone Josh Clarkson, Mitchell Santner and Doug Bracewell. Now, two important points for you to keep in mind is one, Doug Bracewell, again, in the we discussed this in the preview yesterday, got hit a lot. Yeah. Again, in the in today's match, he's got hit a lot and didn't really take any effect with the ball and hit a handy 16 with the bat. But if they're continuing to bowl full four overs with him, then it's difficult for you to leave him in that scenario. Hence, we have picked him. Josh Clarkson's role seems to be very clear that while last year he bowled a bit, this year he's not come in too much with the ball. And uh, that also means that he, he's someone known for his big hitting. So that's a chance you can take if you feel like it will not come off one or second if you feel the chase will be smaller and he won't get to bat at all. And the options that you have in exchange would be Kristen Clark or Brett Hampton, both of whom yeah. generally bowl 2-3 overs and are yeah. important to the bat down the order. So I think that's a toss-based call for you to take. Yeah. And Mitchell Santner will obviously be in everyone's team yeah. and will also probably be everyone's captain with captain. the line yeah. of right-handers that are there. I don't think there's too much of doubt on why you need to do that. And in the bowling, we have gone Scott Kugline, Tim Pringle, Brett Randall 
and a differential choice in Raymond Tule, who we'll get to after we hear from Nikhil Bhai if he's thinking of any other bowlers too. No, I think it is uh, completely fair call of Pringal Jab. They can same uh, consideration. Kafi Zada varieties hai, so he should be able to get into the game. Or if you have a strong hunch, you can see that the first thing is that if a lot of players try risk, they can get the Zada out of it. So, you have a lot of people in the T20 leagues. Mein, it's hmm. the one bowler who keeps taking wickets through and through. He may not even bowl more than two overs. So that is the risk that you can always take from this section because not any, not anybody is like pure shot. Ke haan bhai. Kugle ne aise player jab bolin hai ke haan, 100% sub over dalenge. But everybody hmm. else is often tried and tested in different parts. So that option is always open for you to try even Jaden if you want to uh, uh, in that in that regards. Yes, and again, another important point to note is many of you were curious as to why we didn't take Brett Johnson after he bowled his full quota in the game before took a wicket, but you saw today morning he bowled just one over. So that is what we discussed, that with bowlers who are not known or are new to the scene, if they get hit in one over, then at times they don't come back. Raymond Tule sits in the same bracket as far as that point is concerned, but today he bowled three out of the last five overs, that including the last over there. So that means that they are believing in terms of giving him that opportunity. So if he's bowling first, he'll mostly continue to feature in the team for us because Brett Randall is someone who they look at more as a three overs in the power play sort of bowler. And captain and vice captain, we have gone with Mitchell Santner and Tom Bruce not taking any chances mm-hmm. as far as that part is concerned. So just to, just to add one thing here, look, this is our visualization. Hai. हम ऐसे विजुलाइज कर रहे गेम को इसके लिए हम किसी प्लेयर को नहीं ले रहे या ले रहे तो इफ यू फील दैट नो द कन्वर्स विल हैपन और कुछ और होगा यू आर ऑलवेज फ्री टू मेक दिस रोटेशन बिकॉज़ देन दैट इज व्हाट विल मेक योर टीम स्टैंड आउट बिकॉज़ इवेंचुअली इट इज योर रिस्क एंड योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग जिसके वजह से आपका कॉम्बिनेशन भी चेंज हो सकता है तो आई थिंक वो सब याद रखिए यू नो आई थिंक द गेम इज स्टिल गुड फॉर एसएल एंड मिनी जेट्स यस एब्सोल्युटली बिकॉज़ I think they've taken one or two differential risks, not too many. So I guess it still yeah. is eligible for small leagues because the players that we have left out, nor are the big names and nor are the guys who are going to be in like guaranteed premium positions unless someone like Ben Smith comes off. But the kind of guys we take uh, have left are people who take high risk. So I guess from that perspective, it's good for small leagues. And yes, the risk level also is not too high. I would say so. Yes, this would be. a good game for you to try from that perspective too but yeah let's go to branding then <laughs> yes let's do it over to you Please. sir first up no no you sir go ahead cool as i said my first pick is uh, jeet rawal uh, again hasn't looked great but now again it's a very call ki agar aap aur kisi mein pitch ko choose karna hai to If you want to take a risk again, it's a pure Grand League option, so that is where you can go. Head to head is fine, average over 35 something. That venue can average 60 ke upper hai. It hasn't come off yet, but it tells you that if two games maybe venue may not come off, so maybe there is a possibility that it comes off. And these guys just need, and they are experienced pros, so it's not that they are uh, they have to do something different to get there. So that is why uh, G travel. And uh, from Canterbury, I will continue to back. टगी साहब अगर आप देखें तो रन्स कम होते जा रहे हैं जितने पड़ रहे हैं तो होपफुली वहां पे एक दो विकेट और ऐड हो जाए और तीस रन आ जाए तो फिर आई एम हैप्पी यस एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक डग ब्रेसल वाज ऑन माय रेडार टू स्पेशली एज डिफरेंशियल कैप्टन योर वाइस कैप्टन सी चॉइस सो आई एम अग्रीइंग विद दैट वन एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न आई ऑलरेडी मेंशन रेमन टूले ना ऑब्वियसली ही वाज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव टुडे बट आई एम आई बिलीव दैट इफ गाइस आर गिवन ऑपर्चुनिटीज इन जोन्स वेयर दे आर एबल टू टेक विकेट्स दे विल कम ऑफ एट वन पॉइंट सो आई थिंक आई विल बैक हिम फॉर दिस वन एंड एज फार एज नॉर्दन आर कंसर्न आई थिंक स्पेशली इफ दे बैट फॉर जो कार्टर बिकॉज़ ही हैज बीन इन गुड टच द ओनली थिंग इज दैट बाय द टाइम ही इज कमिंग टू बैट देयर हैव बीन वेरी फ्यू रन्स लेफ्ट और इट्स बीन इन हाई प्रेशर सो इफ दे बैट फर्स्ट देन ही माइट गेट दैट पेस एंड टाइम टू पेस अ गुड इनिंग्स आउट सो आई थिंक ही विल बी टू डू दैट फॉर मी एंड यस दोस आर माय टू ग्रैंड लीग पिक्स फॉर दिस वन यू टू टेल अस इन द कमेंट्स हु योर ग्रैंड लीग पिक्स आर वन फ्रॉम नॉर्दर्न एंड वन फ्रॉम सेंट्रल एंड वी होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अ ग्रेट गेम एंश्योर यू डाउनलोड द फैन टू प्ले ऐप Essentially for this game, because we, if you see, we have gone with two keepers and mm-hmm. two batters. 
which you will not be able to do on other apps because as far as the third batter choice is concerned, it's always going to be dicey for such games. Yeah. And the luxury to take two keepers and yet take your whole set of all-rounders and bowlers is yeah. not something you'll get everywhere. So yeah. the refer code is here. App link is in the description. Go download right now and have a great game. Let's see you in the next one very soon.